Hello, welcome back to another video. We're here on the floor today because my house doesn't have any natural light whatsoever except this that comes through this window. So we're gonna do it here. <laughs> Over the weekend, it was my baby's first birthday. So I suppose he's not a baby anymore, but he's one year old. Um, and the party that we had was the very hungry caterpillar themed. So I thought what I would do is show you everything that I did for the party and maybe give you some ideas and inspiration for your own or your child's very hungry caterpillar party. Starting off with decorations, I made a balloon caterpillar. So it was green balloons and a red one for the head and you just stick them together using double-sided tape. I thought the double-sided tape wasn't going to work because I was putting it outside and it was quite windy, but it did, it held together. I didn't do this, but I saw someone who used pipe cleaners, purple pipe cleaners to make the antenna on the head. That's another thing you could do. The color theme that we went for with the party was just following along with the books. So red, green, and purple. So we used red and green balloons, red and green um, crepe streamers, red and green cutlery, red and green paper plates for lunch. And then we went purple plates for the cake, purple serviettes for the cake as well. And then I found these, or actually my mum found these really cute watermelon serviettes from TK Maxx, which just fit so well. <laughs> I had a bit of fun and I set up my cutlery and my plates before the party. So I would put like a red plate with green cutlery and then I'd put like a purple serviette. And then I also got some Very Hungry Caterpillar fabric from Spotlight. Um, and I had a heap of extra left over. So I actually used some of that. I just cut it up into little strips and then I would tie a bow around that as like a set. It was really cute. For the food, I tried to go as simple as I could just because I didn't want to be stressing about too much on the day. So for lunch, we just made I, it wasn't really following the very hungry caterpillar theme, but we just made burgers um, and we got a couple of roast chooks from Coles and some rolls. It's just, you know, your typical Australian lunch. For the snacks, I made just like a fruit platter using the fruit from the book. So we used watermelons and strawberries and we did end up using blueberries. I know that's not in the book, but it just looked cool. Um, and then we also did like a plate of crackers, Swiss cheese, salami and pickles. It sounds kind of weird, but it was, it was cute. Follow the theme. I also made just a pasta salad and there was another tomato salad. M really my ideas with the food, I just wanted it to be everything that my son could have. Like if you wanted to pick some up off a plate, then he could have it. So he didn't feel like he was left out on his birthday. Now for the cake, I had so much fun making the cake and making the decorations for the cake. In hindsight, they probably weren't the best ideas in theory, um, but it turned out really cool. So I'll put a picture up here. Um, so I, I wanted to go sugar free. So I found a recipe. I honestly can't remember the website that I got it from. I'm going to put up the ingredients and stuff that I wrote down in my notes. But I think if you just Google sugar free, like first birthday sugar free banana cake, um, cause it uses bananas as the sweetener, it'll probably just come up. Um, it also uses almond flour. So obviously if you have like a nut allergy, don't use it. And then I used unsweetened whipped cream as the icing. So I basically just got thickened cream from Coles, whipped it, didn't put any sugar or anything in it and used that as the icing. I also, I made two layers for the cake and in the middle I put in some mixed berries. So I just got a packet of frozen mixed berries. I cooked them for a little bit and mashed them. So they were, it kind of just looked like a jam. Um, and then I put that in the middle with some whipped cream. So it was a two layered cake. And then for the decorations, I got a 
a spotty one candle and a actually can't remember if it's spotty now or like a rainbow happy birthday so they kind of tied in just got them from the cheap shop i got some styrofoam balls from spotlight and i painted them the color of the caterpillar so red for the head different colors of green for the body i put like kebab skewers in them at different heights so then when i put it together it was like a caterpillar on the on the top of the cake it looked really cool. Only problem was, was I used gouache when I probably should have used acrylic or maybe even just gotten some kind of fabric felt balls instead, which would have been much easier um, because when he, he had like wet hands. So when he picked up one of the styrofoam balls, all the paint started coming off. So don't do what I did. Just go acrylics or even easier go felt fabric with the head. I just cut out little paper antenna in purple and stuck them on with some toothpicks and it looked super cute and it was sugar free. Everyone loved it. Even the kids loved it. They had no idea it was sugar free. I mean, you can obviously taste that it doesn't have sugar in it, but it's not bad. For the invitations, I made my own invitations. Um, you obviously don't have to go to this level of effort. When I looked, there are heaps of like digital templates that you can grab off of Etsy, not even Etsy, just on Google. You can grab a heap and they're just like simple, maybe A5 size invitations for the very hungry caterpillar. And you can just put your own details in and print them off at home. But I wanted to go that extra level because I just, I like doing that kind of stuff. I made my own invitations and I shaped them in the shape of a very hungry caterpillar love them and i was only printing out like five because we were only having a very small party so that's what i did pictures are up there hopefully you saw what i did it was a lot of fun ollie's outfit i had a lot of fun with this <laughs> i got it was a five piece set from best and less in the teal or green color now I didn't end up using the shirt because it already had a bow tie in that green color stitched into the shirt and I wanted to use my own bow tie that I made from Ollie's place. So it's just a white long sleeve button up shirt. I bought a meter of the Very Hungry Caterpillar fabric from Spotlight and I used that to make a bow tie and also a matching bib. In my previous video, you'll see how I made the bow tie and the bib. It looked so cute. The bow tie was actually quite a bit bigger than what I wanted, but it ended up looking really, really cute. Um, and then when we had food and cake, I popped the bib on and it just looked really nice. We also did a bit of a photo shoot using an Etsy purchase so it was a party hat with a little one on top and a matching bow tie lastly for the photo shoot or the photo props that we did for our party it was really really simple we just got a painters drop sheet from Bunnings um, and we kind of put it up against the wall jammed it into the windows on the side of my house everyone just came over and popped their presents down on the drop sheet and we literally just put ollie in the middle and just let him pick whatever presents he wanted and he was opening them and then that way we used it as a bit of a a backdrop for a photo shoot and all the pictures turned out like really cute really cool um, you don't have anything ugly in the background. So it, it was it was really good. So that's everything that we had at our party. I hope that you got some good ideas from this, some good inspiration for maybe your own child's very hungry caterpillar party. It was a lot of fun. Take bits and pieces. I'll try and leave all the links for what I can find down in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around until the end. I hope you guys have a good day. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.